Let's take a look now at multipoint services, and I'm going to describe it briefly and contrast it briefly with remote desktop services. With remote desktop services, you may recall that I said we're going to have a desktop that different users around our organization can log into. And they'll all have the same desktop. Now they can do slightly different things on it. Uh, one person can run one application at the same time another person runs another application on that desktop. However, it is a common desktop. And if I want an, a unique desktop for each individual user, I would use multipoint services. Now, I want to tell you that multipoint services used to be its own server. In fact, back in, I believe, 2011, I could be wrong, but I think 2011 was the last version that was its own server. You could go out onto the Microsoft site and purchase multipoint server 2011 and install it into your server however it is now built into windows server in 2016 um, and 2019 multipoint services allows each user to have their own desktop this would be used let's say that i have a classroom and i only have one computer in my classroom but i want all of my students to be able to work on their own computers but they don't have computers. All they have is, it could be a computer or it could just be a dumb terminal. In other words, they've got a mouse, they've got a keyboard, they've got a screen, and that's about it. And they're all plugged in to my one server. And to each student, it looks like, like they're on their own computer, but they're not. They're all on my computer. Now, this is fairly resource intensive on that computer, so I better have a good one if I'm going to have a whole classroom on it. But that's what multipoint services does. Um, we are going to take a look at where it is in server. And again, I'm going to pretend that I'm installing RDS. And so here's remote desktop services installation. And I'm going to click Next, and then I'll click Standard Deployment. Okay, we'll go to that. And now look at the next one. The multi-point services role will be deployed on the selected servers. So here I select whatever server I want to run the multi-point services role on. And in this case, I only have the one server, my DC1. And then I would... Uh, once I select it over here, I click this little arrow here, and over here are the ones that I have selected. And then I would cl click Next, and I would continue on. Now, there's a lot of setup that goes on after this that I'm not going to get into, but that is basically how we would set up multipoint services. Now, having said this, there is another solution. It's called VDI that is becoming more and more popular. VDI stands for virtual desktop interface and it is ultimately sort of the same thing uh, I, i'm a little hesitant to talk very much about vdi and how it's set up because there are different ways to set it up and it can be in your organization or it can be in the cloud and vdi has become more popular when we're talking about a cloud server that is now serving my organization and it can be managed from within or it can be managed from without. In other words, I can have the server itself that's serving up all these individual desktops or individual computers, if you will. I can have those in a cloud, but I can be sitting inside the organization and managing those. Or I can have it externally managed by my cloud uh, provider. So uh, either way, uh, there are, these are very uh, variations on a theme, but VDI is becoming more and more uh, popular today. And so you might see VDI uh, used in its place, but Microsoft's solution previous to VDI has been multipoint services.